Hi everybody, welcome to Woodfired Weekly at Manor from Devon Cooking School. This week we're going to be smoking some mackerel and we're going to be making a lovely smoked mackerel pate. So we have brined this mackerel, just a simple brine with a little bit of sugar and some salt. And now we want to make sure they're really nice and dry before we try and smoke them. These have only had 45 minutes or an hour in the brine, but they've just started to stiffen up a little bit and they will have absorbed some of that seasoning. Whilst those are drying, let me show you how we've got the oven set up. So over on the left hand side, I have the fire. Now dying down to a little bed of embers. Inside the oven, I have Tuscan grill and a roasting tin. And on top of that, at the very top of the oven, a grill plate. And I want this to have a little bit of heat into it, much less likely for my fish to stick to the pan if it's got some heat in it. Not too much because I don't want it to cook the fish. But what I do want to do is elevate the fish right up into the top of the oven so it gets plenty of smoke and the smoke will of course gather right up in the top. What we want to do here is get a nice amount of smoky flavour into the fish. If the fish is too hot or cooks too quickly it won't have time for it to absorb enough heat. So if we put it into a hot oven it'll roast beautifully but it just won't absorb the amount of smoke that we want it to. So we're trying to let the oven to settle somewhere down below 100 degrees. And then we just bring the temperature of the fish up slowly, up to around about 60 degrees internal temperature. And if that takes 20, 30, 40 minutes, that'll give it a decent amount of time to absorb some smoke. I'm gonna be using some apple wood. Our friend Tim, Tim Sunderland, pruned his apple trees, chopped it all up into little bits through his chipper and brought us bags of the stuff. So we're going to use that little bit of apple. It's going to be beautiful with the mackerel. It's in little chips and what I've done here is make up these little parcels and I'm going to sit those directly on the embers and they'll just come up to temperature and start to smolder and release their smoke relatively slowly. I've got a few made up so I'll chuck a couple on get the smoke going after they burn out. I've got some more to go after that. And that should keep us going for our 20 or 30 minutes that we'll be smoking. And then we're going to be closing down the oven a little bit. So we put the door on. We'll put the smoke keeper on the top so that we have a, a slow flow of air, plenty of time for smoke to drift quietly around the fish and put some flavor into it. So the fire has died down to a nice bed of embers. So we'll bring this one out, the grill grate. We want that to cool a little bit because we don't want to actually cook the fish in the heat of the grate. And I'm going to pop on my first two packs of smoking chips and place the smoke keeper on top to slow down the flow of smoke. I'm using this very fancy rosemary brush to oil the grate just because it's sacrificial. If I use a regular brush on this, it burns out in no time at all. I'm gonna pop a little bit of paprika pepper onto the, the fish. I've got a choice here, sweet, hot, agridulce, bittersweet. We're gonna go with that one. That goes into the oven and I've placed it over on the right hand side away from those embers which are still emanating a little bit of heat of course and the door I'm going to place on tightly it's not a really perfect seal around the door so oxygen can still flow through plus we've got the holes here so we're just going to get a slow emanation of smoke and I've got some nice smoke lovely light blue smoke coming out of the top of the oven our fish has had close to 20 minutes. We're going to take a look. There we are, it's got a lovely colour. With this kind of smoking, we're really trying to get a nice balance between infusing the fish with some flavour not overcooking it so we don't want the temperature inside to get too high otherwise we'll dry it out 
So we'll take a look with the probe thermometer. And I want to see an internal temperature of around about 60 degrees, not too much more than that. I'll fish her at between 60 and 65 degrees, so that's all ideal. And now I'm going to take those apart. And you can see there, it's still lovely and juicy, not dried out at all. I don't want the skins for this recipe. But a little bit here and there will not hurt. Now I've taken all the fish apart and, and off most of the skins. And I can break that up and just let that cool for a couple of minutes before I carry on. And whilst that's cooling, I'm going to start making a little toast to go with this. Because once that's cool, I can make up the pate in a couple of moments. So here I'm going to put the toast directly on top of the oven. So those on top will cook in no time at all. Here I've got some ricotta cheese. And we're going to add some lemon zest, some fresh parsley, pepper, a little bit of salt, remembering that we brined the fish already, so we won't need too much. And then other things to your own taste, of course. So if you want a little bit more paprika in there, fantastic. If you want some heat, then some wasabi, some horseradish, some mustard. We're also going to have a little squeeze of lemon. We'll probably have a little bit more when we serve it, so just a touch. But oily fish, a little bit of acidity, usually works well. No more salt, a little more lemon. We have toast, we have pate, we have some little toppings here. So we've got some thinly cut red onion, which we've pickled a little bit, a little bit of salt, a little bit of lemon, some shreds of lemon, lemon juice, and some cornichons, a generous heap of pate on each one of those, a few cornichons, a few sprigs of lemon, some onion and a final squeeze of lemon over everything. So there we have our freshly smoked mackerel made into smoked mackerel pate, all done in the Morso Forno with a little bit of apple wood. Thanks for watching. We'll put the recipe on our blog and we'll put a link to that below. See you next time. <laughs>